Well guys, I'm back to my Mad Games Tycoon 2 series. This is 2037, as I've just not been doing any new games at the moment because Terrascape 2 just came out and there's no storage, so I want to wait a little bit before I even consider making a new game at the moment. As my sports engine just got updated, nice. So let me go check on my engines. Yeah, it looks like they all, I mean, it looks like they have every single feature. Yeah. <clears throat> At this point, it's just about, uh, they look old in terms of their years, so I'll just go update them. Unless the game won't let me update them. Yeah, well, what if there's no new engine feature? What, I can never update it again? Uh, apparently not. Alright then. So there you go, apparently I can't update any of my engines anymore. That time in a game where I don't need to update engines anymore. Oh my god, it happened. <laughs> Alright. So, yeah, still no storage, so I can't do anything about that. Once Toy Barbarians is off the market, that will help sales immensely. But yeah, I can't make anything still at the moment. I'm gonna take a look at my consoles again. Yeah. Still selling very good. This is probably crazy. Cause I mentioned in the last episode I was thinking about making a new console just for the hell of it. Maybe I might do that now. Because I do need to make probably a new game gadget very soon because it looks like it's about to go out. Have all the updated stats. And make sure. Yep. So many console designs I can keep go with. That actually looks kind of cool. No, that's right. Game Gadget was mostly like purple and pink, and Game Deluxe is like in the blue tier, so I don't know if I want to do a red one. Ow, that kind of hurt my eyes a little bit. Maybe that's a little too greenish. I guess we could do that. And put Terrascape 2 on it. Hmm. Interesting name I just thought of. Savannah. I have no idea why I just fall that. I know it's very weird, but hey, why not? Maybe just for the hell of it, make a third console. I mean, a new console. Here we go. Making the Savannah. Making Savannah. I wonder if I can rename it really quickly. Oh, good. I can rename it. The Savannah. Yep. Very weird for me to make. I'm sure it's going to hurt Game Deluxe 5. Wait, no. Game Deluxe 4. But hopefully not. I just want to do it just for the hell of it. Okay, I think it's time to make a new game. Oh, I'll do this then really quickly. No sequel this time. I've done two sequels in a row. I want to do something new. So let's do a visual novel for the hell of it. And RTS is not big or third person shooter. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait and decide what my topics are before I do something. Ooh, casinos are big. I don't think I... Yeah, I didn't do a casino one. Uh. Oh, my God. I saw cats and I was like... I was like, casino and cats. Oh, my gosh. You know what? I think third person would probably make sense. Catnip. <laughs> Alright, so. 
go do that. My newest... I think that's the last engine I ever updated to. I don't think it's going to be done in time, so I'm not going to do that. Um... Do that. I did a visual novel recently, I believe. Uh, apparently, I did. Ten years, over oh, eleven years ago. All right, so let's see. It was what was it? Metal and oil, or no? Ancient caves. Oh, the first-person shooter too. So, somewhat maybe similar. Better story. Better character design. Better mission design. Too violent and too hard. Alright. Now to begin the pain and the weight. This is like so annoying. I wish it would stop taking so long to just do it. <sighs> okay, there we go. Alright, now that we've got catnip in the works. Alright, now we're going to start promote... Ah, start promoting it. It's nice to see so much stuff's been taken off the market. Now it's not so cluttered. Oh my god. Like a night and day difference. Race Against Time the Series and Diplomat Furry Anniversary is still going. Even though they're... Even though it's not selling any more copies. Ow! And we got the summer season coming up soon too. Oh man. We had the boom like an episode or so ago. Not this. <laughs> oh, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Just why? Getting close to 60% of the market for um consoles. I mean, um, handhelds. Which, that's insane. Maybe I just sell my research room since they don't seem to be needed anymore. Alright, now we're gonna go promote the Savannah. I think I might do that very soon, because it's been a few years since I think they've researched everything. Alright, finally, Toy Barbarian's off the market. Now we can make some room. Ugh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, Terrascape's got hurt in sales. And now the diplomat's about to get probably taken off soon. Uh, <laughs> the paid. Alright. Do that. Still being in development. Alright. Yep, keep developing. I'm gonna start firing you guys. Since it seems I have researched everything. You did good service, but it's time to go. Sorry. I wonder if I just fired... Did I, did I just fire myself? I don't... That would be weird if I did. <laughs> Alright, catnip. Terror Escape 2. And yep, you. It's nice to be it's nice to have that down a bit. And we're gonna actually promote both those hit consoles, just for the hell of it. Next game I have to do it on the Savannah. That way we'll have a game out in time. Alright, now to delete the room. And with all that extra space. Uh, where's stock room? 
I get as much room as I can. I guess that could work too. I'm trying to squeeze as much in. Wait, not all rooms are accessible. Ah! Dang it! Man! There, is that, is that good now? I don't see any other doors being blocked. Thank you. And then maybe later on I'll sell the other room. Man, I did some major redesign of this um, studio after decades. Hasn't been really changed since like what? The 2010s, maybe the earliest. There, more storage now. Uh, only five million? That's kind of small. Alright. Oh, my back. <sighs> so that's all being sold. Uh, the pain of this sales penalty. Thank God all summer's over, so now they'll start selling again. Good. Without that stupid summer penalty as well. 231 million copies. That is insane. How much it sold. Alright, looks like it's done. Yeah, I think they're done. Alright. Time to release. Shit on me. I just remembered to. I'm stupid. I didn't do this. Dang it. Now I gotta wait probably another month. I mean, another week. God dang it. I'm stupid. All right, now we can release it. Time to release catnip. Not bad. All right, update. Create game report. Now we're going to quickly produce copies. Let's do that. Right. Uh. Anyway, I'm going to cancel. Um race against time the series it's not doing anything anymore uh yep you served 22 years that was long enough two billion I mean, almost two and a half billion copies and now diplomat furry fan first she's still selling a little bit so i'll still do that at least all right three more weeks and eventually i gotta get something new to replace the diplomat 40 fan version about to go off the market maybe i could finally do another sequel no, we're going to wait. Well, now that that out, I want to get that out quickly. So, we're going to develop a new console right now. All right, time to do the sequel then. Go do the sequel. Let's see how long has it's been since we've done some cons. Dragon Legend 3 years, no, 4 years ago. Action's been 5 years. War of the Cosmos getting up to 10 years. Yeah, Rabbit Punch is the longest. So let's go do that. It's been 12 years. Only problem is I don't remember. Here we go. Let's see. I want to. I want to do a number again. So let's see. Uh, Rabbit Punch. Eight. Ten, eleven, twelve, so fourteen. And we're gonna make it on the savannah as well. And we're gonna release at the same time. Unfortunately, it looks like we might have to wait till next year before 
we see the Savannah get released. I can't wait for that. That's going to be fun. Or at least I hope it'll be interesting. Since who knows, it might screw over Game Deluxe 4. Even though it isn't any better stack, I mean, tech-wise, so I don't see why it would screw over in that regard. Only thing different about it is just the name, appearance, and that's pretty much it. Oh, and the game it comes with, and yeah. And no backwards compatibility. Alright. So, go do that. Here we go. Alright, Catnip's still gonna be released soon. Yeah, Terrascape... It's having the same problem as War of the Cosmos did. The first one scored better, but then sells one. Oh my goodness, Catnip sold terribly. Ouch. 500,000 copies? Ow. Come on. I guess again, I guess it's this point in the game where visual novels don't do well as they normally would. Like, that's the only thing I could think of. Because remember my, um... My, um, The Great Voyage, which was an um, interactive movie, that didn't sell well. Now, visual novel games aren't selling well, apparently. I guess maybe there's, maybe there's like, a bonus towards certain consoles now. Which kind of sucks. You should be able to make a game, a you know, visual novel, interactive movie on handhelds and home consoles and still do well. I mean, it is on the verge of making money. Oh, wow, I didn't even get a reward. Oh, yeah. Trying to go promote Rabbit Punch 14. Th oh, that was a very bad move on my part, and thankfully it paid out. That was the wrong button I meant to press. Thankfully, it worked out. That was close. That should that honestly should not have worked, but it did, thankfully. And how look at that now RT I mean I'm um role play games are a big thing now again. And there we go, 2038. As yeah, Game Deluxe 4 selling 50,000 copies, have 50 million copies sold, but Game Gadget's close to 250 million. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Just wild. But anyways, guys, just game the Diplomat 3 fan anniversary is left and we're almost done with all my MMOs and I cannot wait. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap it up here. See you all next time when we release Rabbit Punch 14 and The Savannah.